These are the cards we'll be using to build the Manga Sponge. First you'll need to fold the cards. If you place two cards at right angles like this, an easy way to make sure they're at right angles is to line up these edges, like so, and then you can see that these folds will be perpendicular. Fold over both sides, then you can slide the middle card so that there is an equal amount at top and bottom and fold these tabs again. You can separate the cards. This will give you two square cards and on the back of each will be two tabs. These are used to join them together. To make your cards into a cube, you'll need six, one for each face of the cube. When you're building your cube, you need to remember that the tabs will always remain on the outside of the finished cube. You also need to remember that whenever you put two cards together, you'll always put an edge with a tab against an edge without a tab. So you'll never have two tabbed edges or two non-tabbed edges together. An easy way to start is by placing one card down on the table, tucking one vertical card under each side, like this. You can then add a fourth card, which runs horizontally, and making sure that all of the tabs are still on the outside of the cube. A fifth card can then go opposite, again horizontally, and with the tabs outside, and then there's space on top for a final card to complete your cube. This is the basic unit of construction of the Manga Sponge, and you can use the tabs to attach it together. To join together two cubes, you can use the tabs. You'll notice that the tabs on each cube either run horizontally or vertically on each face. To put two together, you'll need horizontal tabs on one and vertical tabs on the other, and you'll see that you can just lock together the corners of the tabs like so. These two cubes are now attached together. To cover your Manga Sponge, we've provided designs for these printed cards which show levels of the fractal. If you visit the website at megamanga.com, you can find files there to download and print your own. Like the blank cards, you'll also need to fold the tabs on them. It's easiest to wrap the cards around each other, as we did before. You can use the lines to work out where the folds will be, but this will make sure they're definitely wide enough to fit around the tabs. This again is square and has tabs on the back. You can use them to attach to the tabs on your cube. Again, place them at right angles and simply tuck all four corners underneath. The outside layer not only makes it look nice, but also makes it structurally stronger. In this video, I'm going to build a level 1 cube. When you build level 1 cubes, whether you're building them to remain as level 1 or to be built into larger structures, we recommend that you use the outside covering cards at this stage to fill the gaps in between the cubes. You can see that these spaces are quite difficult to get into once you finish building your level 1 sponge, and so it's a lot easier to do it at this stage as you fit the thing together. This level 1 sponge is made from 20 smaller cubes. I've already put in the cladding cards on all of the inside faces except for one. These ones are already filled in, as I've done it as I was going along. It's quite difficult to fill them in afterwards, and you can see here that it is a fiddly process. This is why we recommend you do them as you go. This is a level 1 sponge. You'll need 20 of these to make a level 2 sponge. I'm now going to clad the outside surface with cards. Some of the Mega Manga sites are building level 2 sponges. These consist of 20 level 1 sponges. The main sites are all building a level 3 sponge, which consists of 20 level 2s or 400 level 1s. This cube is now covered on three faces. The three faces that are covered are around a corner. This means that if it were to be built into a larger level 2 sponge, it could sit in one of the corner positions. If you wanted to build a level 1 sponge to be on an edge, you would need to clad four of the faces and leave the ends open. Since I'm just making a level 1 sponge here, I'm going to finish cladding it now, so you can see what it looks like when it's done. 
A level 1 sponge takes 120 cards and 72 planning cards. We hope you'll be able to join us for our Mega Manga Week in October. Visit the website at megamanga.com for more information and to find out where your nearest build site is.